Now there's a push underway to take the changes here in Chicago made for tipped workers to businesses across the state of Illinois. Supporters say it would give workers a living wage, but some restaurant owners worry that it would hurt business and end up costing customers more money. NBC 5's Patrick Fazio reports. Tipped workers across Illinois would make minimum wage instead of subminimum wage if a new proposal passes in Springfield. These workers need to be paid a full living wage that starts with guaranteeing minimum wage with tips on top. Illinois lawmakers announced a new bill at the state capitol called the One Fair Wage for All Act. During the pandemic, 72 percent of restaurant workers found out they were not eligible for unemployment insurance because their wages were too low. The legislation would be similar to what Chicago City Council approved in October, phasing out the city's subminimum wage for tipped workers over five years. We're going to have to increase menu prices in some capacity to cover the costs of the increased hourly wages. Franco Francesi owns Course Italian Restaurant in Glenview and Matone in LaGrange Park. He worries about losing customers if he adds service charges, which could also mean his employees may not make as much in tips. That doesn't mean that someone couldn't tip on top of the service charge, but I know if I've gotten a bill and it has a service charge on there, I'm not going to feel obligated to add anything additional. In a statement, the Illinois Restaurant Association says in part, this legislation will do more harm than good as it will fundamentally change the way all restaurants operate, hurting our smaller, family-run and minority-owned businesses the most. The median wage for full-service tipped restaurant workers is over $28 per hour. These changes will lead to job cuts. Yeah, I just don't know how our customers are going to react. Lawmakers say seven other states have already passed similar legislation. Research shows that these seven states have higher restaurant job growth rates, small business growth rates. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News.